What's going on guys? So today's video got the wife here and today we are going to be bringing it back to the times where we grew up. Mm. The best times, the golden age of hip hop when cartoons were unfortunately starting to be pushed aside for shows like Saved mm -hmm. by the Bell, but also just the fashion. The fashion came back and it's like 2020. So today we're going to be doing best 1990s fragrance okay so this is the time where, where we grew up so we were kids back then and the 90s were the times unfortunately for this very video we're not dressed in 90s fashion but that's okay all right so uh, so these fragrances here I got uh, well, I don't know I think I got like 12 give or take and some of these fragrances are actually uh, thanks to my friend rush because rush has Few of these bottles are his, so I have to do this video because I'm going to be seeing him in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So let's just get it started. We do have the dry down, which has been there for the last 25 minutes. So the okay. first one's going to be Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, the original. So I'm hoping that this sample has at least a few, like one spray. Okay, barely. This this is done now. Can you smell it? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank God, because when I was spraying the other one. Okay, big difference. And I think that this is the original formulation. No, not everybody. a big difference. Okay, so I think that this is the original formulation. So next fragrance here, this one is going to be... So let me just say this. I'm going to have some heavy hitters and I'm going to have some lighter fragrances. But the next one is going to be the iconic Azaro Chrome. So dry down. Mm -hmm. And let's spray this out here. Okay, so two sprays, and that is the opening. So which one do you prefer, JPG or the Chrome, the Azaro? JPG. So we're gonna have some samples, but we will have some official bottles as well, okay guys? Next one, let's go with something from the brand of Ralph Lauren, and this is gonna be Safari. Mm -hmm. This one came out in 1992. I think for a little while that this one was discontinued, but they brought it back, or it just was brought back into like some of the online discounters. Mm -hmm. Big difference from top to bottom, hun? Yes. Does it have that yeah. 90s cologne vibe? <laughs> it's cloying. This has that 90s cologne vibe, for oh sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, no. So, okay, JPG it JPG's is. JPG is a All clear right. winner there. <laughs> so let's go with, with something iconic. Okay. So, okay, let me just say, let me ask. When it comes to fashion brands of the 90s, what is the one that comes to mind the most? Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger. Well, both of those are in this video, mm -hmm. but let's go with Calvin Klein Eternity. Mm -hmm. So Calvin Klein CK1 is not going to be here. Alright guys, so that's the dry down. And this is Rush's bottle because there's no way in hell that I'm spending even $20 on this, okay? This is just my take. But, do you like it though? I do like it. This, yeah, so this was in, a, in another video. I can't remember which one. I do one. like this one, yeah. Okay, but does it beat JPG though? No. So this gets knocked up. Yeah. Because this was in the best Calvin Klein it, video. It's that... very good, I like it. Okay. Yeah. That's my nose. Okay. <laughs> this was in a recent Calvin Klein video that we did, but that's not gonna be up just yet. Next one's gonna be Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, but this is the reformulated one. I got a sample from Decan Shop of the original oh. formulation. So this is just what the bottle looks like. So this was my fragrance back in high school. This was my very first fragrance. Really? However, okay. don't let that sway your opinion. If you like it, awesome. If you don't, that is still awesome. But does it beat JPG? JPG is no. very iconic though. JPG. Nice too, by but JPG. But this was so popular when this came out. So so many. This is a this is a memory for so many guys my age. Oh wow. Okay, let's go with Dolce and Gabbana. Put on. Hmm. Smells good. I like it. A little uh, fougerish or a little bit dated for me, but it, it it's a good scent. But D and G or JPG. Which G is it gonna be? Lame. It's all good, it's all good. Chatter cheese. That's <laughs> so. Mmm. This is tough. J to, J to the G or D to the G? They actually smell quite similar, eh? Um, 
maybe 90s wise, that's what I think. But I, yeah? DNA wise, I think they're very different. Okay. Do, you, do you want it to be a tie? Like they smell the sim similar. No, I'm going to stick with JPG. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, mm -hmm. so next one's going to be Bulgari Man, or sorry, Bulgari Black. Okay. Unfortunately, this was a, um, a roll on, so. Okay, yeah, that's definitely on there. Mm -hmm. Definitely on there. Okay. All right, so Bulgari Black or JPG, which is doing very well. JPG. I can't blame you on that one. That's, yeah, that one is not for me. light. That now, one was really light. Is it supposed to be light? No, no. I think it's just the paper, hun. Um, it was definitely there, guys. I, the, I definitely saw the oil. Oh. But it, no, that one's a heavy one. That's mm -hmm. a unisex fragrance. It's it's in the shape of a hockey puck. Oh. So it was one that I personally didn't enjoy. Okay. Okay, so now you did say that there were two brands that were iconic or very synonymous with the 90s. Yes. It was Calvin Klein and what? Tommy Hilfiger. Which is going to be Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Hilfiger for men. I remember wanting that fragrance, like for the, the girl one. Okay, all right. Okay, that's empty. Now, to be fair, I have no idea if this is the original formulation or what. I ended up picking this up a couple years ago, so this bottle itself I've only had in my collection for two years. So, do you prefer this one or the JPG? Tough one? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Tommy. Okay. Yeah. Right. So JPG was doing very well. Mm -hmm. So let's go with this one here. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be Chanel's Platinum Egoist. Okay. Oh. Actually. Okay. All right. I have a feeling then. <laughs> now I had a bottle of this a little while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. All right. So Chanel or Tommy? Don't let the names sway your opinion. No, I, no. I know that you're a Chanel kind of girl. Well, I like their lipstick. Well, no. yeah. No, this is too cloying, so I will go with Tommy. Oh, okay. I do like it though. Okay, well, just from your initial reaction from the dry down, I thought I that, did like it. Yeah. I thought that you were gonna like take that one over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go with Calvin Klein Contradiction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Calvin Klein contradiction. You had uh, the the dry down and the opening. This was uh, originally Rush's uh, bottle, but it's now mine. He was actually quite nice enough to leave me five mLs. <laughs> He's probably gonna say, "Oh, you ain't grateful, bitch." <laughs> Calvin Klein. So two iconic '90s brands. Calvin Klein or Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy. Let's go with uh, another Chanel. This is going to be okay. Allure Homme. Oh, okay. I didn't think Allure Homme was from the 90s. Oh, there's a few. Well, yeah, no, I think this one came out in between 96 and 98. There's a few Allure Hommes. I think that this is the original one. So Chanel Allure Homme or Tommy Hilfiger. Allure. And the last one, gentlemen. Well. Now, when it comes to 90s, I find that this is definitely synonymous with the 90s, but it's a modern day classic. This is going to be the original Hugo Boss bottle. Okay. All right. So, for the win, which one is better, Alurum or Hugo Boss, hon? Huh? Big difference from uh, the top to bottom or the, the, the dry down, the first spray when it comes to the Hugo, Hugo Boss? Yeah. Okay. All right. But which one do you prefer? I wish I had a bottle of this. But which one do you prefer? Hugo Boss? Which one is Hugo Boss? This one. Okay. So this Hugo Boss is in the left. Chanel is going to be in the right. Which one do you prefer, hon? Chanel. Chanel Allure Homme. Why mm -hmm. do you prefer this one? It's nice. It's light. It's fresh. It has a certain freshness to it. It yeah. has a... Uh, a warm care it has like a warm soft spicy it's appealing for anything any time any day do like you, i think it'll be good do you remember when i had perry ellis m yeah this perry ellis m gets a lot of uh, comparisons to the to this one here oh really yeah I didn't know that. 
So Perry Ellis is just a lot more affordable than this one here. Oh wow. So the winner guys is gonna be Chanel Alor Um for the for best nineties cologne slash bright. So hun, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Alright, love, love you too guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Any uh, any reviews that I've done, which is not a whole lot, believe it or not, so they will be in the description below. If you want to see other smelling rights between the wife and I, right here. And if you want to see some great winter fragrances for this year, then right here. So guys, we thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.